Female Producers. This is Kristen Brindley, our publisher, and I'm here with the wonderful Greg Day with Certified Master Movers. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. So um, Greg was in our, our uh, August issue, and these are the legends in real estate. And if you didn't check out Greg's story, make sure you do. And if you haven't tried out Certified Master Movers, um, we you know, the website is also below here. And, you know, he's a fantastic partner of real producers, really cares about his relationships with top people. And uh, something I love about Greg, and I love doing these intros because I get to say things that they won't always say. Like he's been in the business about 40 years. <laughs> Started as a mover. He's done like 40,000 moves between um, all the way from driving all the way up to owning certified master movers. So, I mean, that's, that's a lot of experience on your side. Um, he also, let's see here, V dot, M dot, DC dot, he does all like the moves and so on for them, which I think I'll have, I'll ask him to tell you a little bit more about, but Greg, you know, you've been in this industry a nice long time. You're a great partner of ours, a lot of relationships with great people. Can you tell everybody all the services you all provide? Because we know that you're a mover, but what all services do you guys provide? You know, I mean, through, uh, being a, a mover for a long time, I've run across uh, a lot of connections that also help with the customer. I mean, my biggest goal is help the customer through the stressful time because it's the third most stressful thing you can do in your life. And so I like to help them through it with, you know, having a relationship with the cleaning company that goes in and does the clean out after I move all the stuff out as um, one of the biggest things that I've noticed services that I offer customers is uh, um, organizing. So, you know, a lot of customers that have been in their house for 30, 40 years, you know, they don't really need to take all the stuff that they have. And so an organizer goes in there ahead of time, organizes it, puts it in a piles. Hey, donate this, keep this, get rid of this and organizes it before then I come in. Um, but as far as moving, strictly moving, I do international moves, local moves, long distance moves, and uh, what we call office and industrial moves or O&I, uh, which, you know, that's one of my favorite uh, little n niches that I like to do. Nice. Well, you, um, can you tell us what you, because I know it's really cool what you do with VDOT and um, DC. Can you tell us what you do with that too? Yeah. So, I mean, I start, I got into it when, uh, when they were building the Woodrow Wilson bridge back in 2006. Um, and so they, there used to be another tower right there where the new bridge is, and, uh, it was Huntington tower there. And so they had to knock down that whole building in order to build the bridge. So there was 450 apartments in that building. So which VDOT pays for intimate domain, uh, to, fully pack them, fully move them, uh, and fully unpack them. And so me and two other movers uh, got that contract and and emptied out that whole building, uh, 450 moves. So that 2006 was a very good year. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you know, with the mixing bowl, there was, um, God, there was probably about 60 relocations in the mixing bowl in order to build that, redo the mixing bowl. I helped yeah. out with the hot lanes. Uh, so any any time that VDOT wants to build a new road or build a new bridge or something like that, uh, there's always houses in the way or apartments. And so I help move the houses and the apartments. That's fantastic. Those are those are big jobs that you have to do a good job to be able to get. Um, can you tell us tell us about your business? Like, um, uh, did you always think you'd be in moving, and how how did you get started? Uh, it's actually a great story. So I was done with high school. I graduated, but I was done. I was, and so my guidance counselor says to me, he goes, Greg, you're uh, not filling out any college applications. Why aren't you filling out college applications? And I said, I'm done with school, done. And, uh, and so he says, well, I work on the, during the summers for a moving company. You want me to try and get you a job? I'm like, yeah, sure. So he went and got me a job at a moving company carrying boxes on my back. So that was in 1983. And so I uh, um, was making, what did I start off? $6 an hour. And I thought I was rich. That first year I made 15 grand. I'm like, oh, I'm rich. Oh, none of my friends had any, any money. They were all off going to college and 
broke and I, I was buying a new Mustang and everything like that. Yeah. So that's yeah. how I started. And, you know, it was funny. The guy that hired me said, hey, come back and see me in six weeks and uh, let's see how you're doing. So I went back and saw him and and he goes, uh, oh, so what do you think? I'm like, this is hard work. This is really I'm exhausted when I go home. And he goes, well, it's been my um, I've noticed in the past that if you make it through the first six months, you'll be a lifer. And I'm like, six months, you're lucky I made it through the first six weeks. And here I am 40 years later, still <laughs> in the movement business. So he was right. Well, what do you think has been in that, that, that time frame? What has been like most like challenging, do you think, in the, in the move industry, being there for 40 years? What's been most challenging? So I really gravitate towards the tough and complicated moves. Um, the Department of Energy used to put on a solar decathlon uh, on the mall grounds every other year. And so now they've switched it out to California, but it used to be in D.C. And so I um, flew down to Puerto Rico because uh, the University of Puerto Rico was entering the competition. And so they didn't know how to get their solar house from Puerto Rico to the mall grounds and set it all up. And so I coordinated all that and did it all with cranes and, you know, on five truckloads and boated it up to New York and then uh, drove it, had it driven down to uh, to the Washington. And so the big challenge in jobs, I, I really love, but, uh, um, you know, the hard part's always the movers. I mean, you know, luckily I've been a mover for a long time. And so I, I'm able to train my movers. So I personally train them, but, you know, finding the guys that want to do some hard work is always a challenge. What do you think has been most rewarding for you? Uh, you know, I mean, the people that I move, I, uh, I've moved some pretty famous people. Um, and, and the fact that they, call call me up and move again i mean you know i've i have two pretty famous people that i've moved that everybody would recognize their names and uh and each one of them i've moved them at least six times they've called me back and and one of them is a famous newscaster and and so she uh she called me up and said oh greg my parents are up in philadelphia and they're yelling at me about keeping stuff in my house in their house can you send a truck up to Philadelphia and move this stuff down into my house? And I'm like, of course I can. So that's that's awesome. And I bet you fun stories, not all of them that you can tell though. So I'm not gonna pry because I know you keep you take care of that. So what do you think sets you apart, makes you different, Greg? Uh, you know, I mean, I'm just a medium-sized mover. So, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, want that big mover and you know and they end up uh going with um you know somebody that's going to put them in multi put them in a big tractor trailer with multiple where you know i'll send a, a little straight truck down to north carolina or down to florida you know and giving the people a little more personalized service where you know it's my men driving in the truck all the way down there and and giving them a, their own little truck and not putting them in a big truck with other people and stuff like that uh, so, I mean, I think that makes me a little different is, uh, you know, I'm a little more personalized uh, service, you know, it's for that person that is looking for a little more higher quality of a move. I mean, uh, my insurance company uh, audited my books, my claims last year, because they didn't believe that my claims ratio was so low, and they actually lowered my premium. So, which is unheard of, an insurance company lowering your premium because, you know, my claims ratio was so low. So, that's that kind of person. Yeah, that that's fantastic. Um, how do you find clients? Like, what? How? What is the number one way or ways that that you get clients? So, that's a challenge. Uh, in the Washington D.C. metropolitan area, there's close to 400 moving companies, uh, and so we're all trying to get that same move. Um, luckily, this is one of the hottest markets in the area. I mean, uh, they say on average, there's anywhere from 450 to 750,000 moves a year in and out of this area. Uh, so plenty of work for the 400 of us. But, uh, um, you know, I do marketing. I, 
I do building relationships with my realtors. I mean, the realtors are really important to a mover. Um, and so, you know, I mean, you get some good realtors and that's why I love top producers is because the real producers is because, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, um, I get in front of realtors that I normally wouldn't. Well, thank you. And I mean, for you, what is, what does it look like? What are you working on right now for the next year, couple years? Like what's important to you right now? So I just ordered two brand new trucks. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Uh, so they're currently building them in Japan right now. So I got a couple of Zuzus and uh, they'll be here in February. Um, but this is actually going to be a really good year for the intimate domain. Uh, they're widening Route 1 in Alexandria. And so 38 businesses have to move because of that. And uh, so... I'm looking at those now. So that's, uh, you know, always a challenge. And so when you do a VDOT estimate, it, you can't go back to them and ask for a penny more. The price is the price. So your price, you have to be very good at what you do and uh, be accurate. That, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It makes sense to me that you're part of that too. Um, what do you think has been a big contributing factor to your success, whether it's like a mentor, a habit, someone, something like, what do you think has contributed a lot to your success? You know, and so I did have a mentor when I was this guy, Mario Amato. He's still in the moving business over in Europe. He uh, heads a big uh, Serva uh, company and stuff like that over there. And, um, and so he taught me that people go with you because of you. Uh, so going into the house is really important and, uh, you know, making people feel comfortable with um, yourself and, you know, your skills. And so that's one thing that I kind of pride myself in is making, taking the stress out of a move, because like I said, it is one of the most stressful things you can do and, and bonding with the customers. I mean, you have about an hour in the house uh, to bond with the customer. And so I, I definitely have that skill where I can do that. Might be rare, but it does. And so do you really want that customer upset with you? Because you're hoping to talk to that customer six years, seven years down the road, um, upset with you and take you out of their, now I'm dating myself, Rolodex, and, uh, uh, and never call you down the road when they want to sell that house again, or why not recommend two movers? I mean, let them make the decision. Let them decide uh, which mover to choose. And so then that way they can't get upset with you. You recommended two. And, you know, and so I lend that advice to realtors all the time. And, you know, and, and a lot of them have taken me up on it and, you know, and said, you know, that's actually true. That's actually a good idea. Uh, and then, you know, one of the things that we do different that I tell my realtors is, you know, taking care of the floors and the banisters and the walls. So we do a little house prep uh, at both houses prior to the move and, and before the delivery. And, uh, you know, and it, it makes all the difference in the world rolling out the red carpet or, you know, the blue neosprene and, you know, taking care of uh, the walls and stuff like that. I. I showed pictures of me doing that uh, to a, a young mover that, you know, owner. And he goes, oh, I charge $500 for that. I'm like, why would you charge any money for that? All you're doing is protecting the house. So then you're not going to get damage or, you know, a house claim. And so, uh, so, you know, that's just something that we do for the realtors. That's, I think that's awesome. I'm really glad. So if y'all haven't checked out Certified Movers and Greg's business, make sure you do. Website's below. And, uh, you know, thanks very much for being part of Real Producers, Greg, and serving our community. We appreciate it. No, no problem. I love it. And I love your organization. You do a good job, Chris. And thank you. Thanks, Greg. Have a good day, everybody.